you get all this traffic to your blog, but very little to no conversions. And as your traffic goes up, your sales, your revenue ends up staying the same. Hey everyone, I'm Neil Patel, and today I'm gonna break down the ideal blog homepage. Now before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel, and if you're on YouTube, click the alert notification. So here's a screenshot of my Google Analytics. And more so, this is in real time. As you can see, the numbers are changing here on the right side, where it shows how many people are active on my site. Your blog probably doesn't get as much traffic, um, and that's fine. I've been doing this much longer, but as you do it longer and longer, you will get more traffic. And if you're in a bigger industry than I am, in which there's more active users like health or fitness, you can actually have way more traffic than me. And when you're in your Google Analytics, what you'll notice is in the left navigation, you can go to behavior, you can go to site content, and you can go to all pages. Now, anytime I reload up my Google Analytics and I'm trying to pull up a specific page or show you something, it does take a little bit and a while. And the reason being is I just have so many pages on my website that Google Analytics doesn't always load up the content right away. And what I'm trying to show you or pull up here is the amount of traffic that's going to my home page. And as you can see, in the last seven days, my homepage has 65,947 page views, um, of which 54,000 are unique. That's a lot of traffic. And what you'll find is your homepage will tend to be your biggest traffic page. For me, it's not. Um, some of the tools and other sections of my website are more popular, but my homepage is still extremely popular. And it will be for you. If it's not at the top, it'll be within your top five or 10 pages. So when people go to your homepage, that's a lot of direct traffic. How do you get those people to convert? And what I wanted to break down today is the ideal homepage layout for your blog that'll generate you some conversions. And I've tested quite a bit and I'm gonna show you mine. And this works well for B2B or B2C. First off, what I do is above the fold is my main call to action area. So if I put in a URL here, let's say neilpatel.com, and you know it's analyzing, it'll analyze my website, and it'll show some data and some stats and whatnot. And I can do it for anyone. Um, I can even do one for, let's say, a smaller site. Um, Let's do, I'm trying to think. Uh, one of my old companies that I haven't owned in many, many years, Hello Bar. So I can look up Hello Bar. It looks like generating roughly 73,000 visits a month from Google. Uh, and then it, it takes a while to analyze the website. And it ends up saying who are some of the competitors based on traffic trends and data, uh, based on some of the keywords that the site's ranking for shows how much traffic the competitors are going for, uh, what they're getting from Google. It'll show things like how much that traffic's worth based on if they had to do a cost per click and pay for those visitors. And then it'll talk about how much they're spending on Google ads, right? Uh, they're getting organic traffic. Some of them are spending money on ads. It talks about their domain authority, um, what your domain authority is. It even breaks down how many websites are linking to them and how many are linking to you. And if you get more links, you're gonna get more traffic. Talks about how many links, again, your competitors are getting, so that way you have a comparison versus you versus them. And it breaks down if you can get some traffic that your competitors are getting that you're not getting based on keyword gaps. That's what keywords they're ranking for that you're not getting for even looks at some things like social shares and your social shares. So to see who has more or less. And then overall, if you want a detailed analysis and it says how many errors you have on your website and overall it'll break down if you have room to grow your website or not. And if we can help you generate more traffic based on analysis we do, and we're using a lot of APIs to get this, we collect a lead and then we'll sell you on our B2B services. That's an example of my homepage and how I collect leads. And you can do something as simple if you're in services, set up a call, a free consultation. You can have that above your fold. Or if you're e-commerce, 
you can do a demo of your product or talk about a sale or promotion that you have and then sell right then and there. Um, there's a site called Legion Athletics that has a good above the fold for their homepage. Tired of the aggregation and lies of the supplement industry? They have a video and then they can sell you. And then they may have some new products that they're offering. Love how they do the homepage, right? And then as you scroll, you can pick whatever you want to do on your homepage. They go more in depth with their products and they show more of their products, which you can do that too. And then they show which products are right for them uh, or helping people find the right products. And then, you know, they scroll money back guarantee, what experts are saying, and they just list all that stuff out on their homepage. Um, and you can change it up for e-commerce that works. But what I would do if I were e-commerce, you can have some of those elements above the fold. And then as you scroll, you can do about your company and your e-commerce company. If it's a service site, you would do about your business. If it's a personal blog, you would do it about who you are. And as you can see here, because this is personal, if I say who I'm am, people can click this button. Yes, I want to work with Neil. And it goes to lead form where I can generate leads. And then I get into the blog, ready to start learning marketing, just follow these four steps, or ready to learn about fitness, if I was legion, or ready to build some muscle mass. And you can do step one, you know, if you haven't taken this quiz, and that'll help you if you have a quiz, or, you know, step one, read this article on how to do bicep curls, or step one, check out how to set up a website or a blog. Step two, you know, take a personal fitness test, or, Take, uh, you know, check out some of my tool suite. Um, you know, step three, read my blog or read some of my tutorials. Step four, subscribe to my podcast. So I'm giving them options on what they can do. And this area is very highly clicked and is super popular. But the big thing is if you're getting all this blog traffic, you'll find that a lot of it goes to your homepage. Collect leads above the fold sell above the fold. It could just be as simple as collecting an email above the fold, you know, like, hey, I'm sharing everything on my journey to 100,000 monthly visitors. You know, I'm learning a lot and so will you. Put in your name and email address to follow along. Or I'm learning a lot on my journey to losing 30 pounds. Uh, you know, put in your name and email to follow along so you can also lose weight. You can do a lot of things like that if you want to sell over email above the fold. But what I recommend doing is just directly capturing a lead, like a lead for consulting your services or selling your product and directly offering your products above the fold as much as possible. You can have a video or you can just do what they did right here. New formulation, shop now, right? Above their fold, they're selling you right then and there. Uh, or you can just offer you know, your discounts or your savings, whatever has an amazing deal right then and there. But that's what I would do if I have a blogger, if I were you, and you're just like, look, we're getting all this blog traffic, but for some reason our blog doesn't generate that much revenue. Well, switch up your homepage. Don't make your homepage just a list of blog articles. That's not gonna drive you leads and sales. Don't worry about the experience. Don't worry about your bounce rate. Don't worry about your time on site. You won't really have issues. I thought that was gonna happen with me, but everything was fine. People just scroll down and go to the blog or they'll click in the navigation. And if you notice at the top, I don't really have tons of navigation options. Why? Because I want people to scroll and be able to pitch them on my services or my products before they go to the blog and you should consider doing something similar as well. You'll find that you'll get many, many more conversions and your blog will generate more revenue from you. So if you have any questions, leave a comment below. I'll answer, I'll help you out with your homepage and your conversions. If you just want my team to do this for you, check out my ad agency, Neil Patel Digital. If you enjoyed the video, like it, share it, tell people about it, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.